Yo, I plan on proposing to my soulmate whom I have known for the longest time. But before I do, I have an introduction written out to explain why we are perfect for one another and why there is such a benefit for being intimately intertwined before popping the question at the end. I am doing this here so I can get feedback from my audience and so make additions or corrections if needed. Here goes. My darling, I have something important to say, so please listen carefully. You have always been there for me, and you know I have always been there for you, for better or worse. I have always admired your great qualities. That of boldness, creativity, empathy, honesty, intelligence, kindness, logic, wisdom, sense of humor, spirituality, and wisdom. It is also wonderful that we share the same artistic sense, culinary tastes, hobbies, interests, and musical tastes. You are my best friend, my shoulder to lean on, the one and only person I can rely on. You are the love of my life, my one and only, my everything. My love for you is like a lemniscate that has no beginning and will never know an end. I need to make you happy for me to have any chance of being happy. You are a sunbeam through a window pane, which I stand in, warmed. So, I want to continue to share life's happiest moments with you. I insist on helping you achieve your dreams as you help me achieve mine, and supporting you as you support me. There is only one person on earth whom I could ever consider my soulmate. That's you! It is also marvelous that we perfectly agree on religion, politics, all other philosophical issues, and best of all, how to live our life. So naturally, we never argue. Therefore, I vow to fiercely love you unconditionally and to never forget that this is a once-in-a-lifetime love. Even after knowing you for over half a century, I still want you ever close and want you to be mine forever. I cannot promise everything will be perfect, but promise we will make it work no matter how hard it gets. So, will you marry me? Of course, the answer is yes, since I'm proposing to myself. I, I would be a bleeding fool to commit to anyone else since every human I have ever encountered has without exception failed me. That is, either betraying me, mistreating me, shunning me, or vanishing from my life. That is completely unacceptable, and I'm far better than that. Can everyone on our planet be wrong about me? Yes! If everyone on Earth was convinced that two and two make three, two and two will still make four. I would wish for evidence that I came from, from another world, since I obviously don't belong here. Thankfully, no amount of puny, stinking humans determines what is right. Only God alone. Read Romans 3.4 and Romans 3.10-18.